This video will demonstrate how you can use AQTime to profile ASP.NET applications. AQTime allows you to profile ASP.NET applications created with various .NET compilers. Regardless of the development tool used to create those ASP.NET applications, any ASP.NET app can be profiled using Internet Information Services. Additionally, Visual Studio 2005, 2008, and 2010 have their own server, ASP.NET Development Server, that is generally used instead of IIS to develop and debug ASP.NET applications. However, you can still use IIS to profile your application outside of Visual Studio. In this demonstration, I'll use the IIS approach as it's more universal. In my demo, I'll use the sample XML trace application that's shipped with AQTime. This example parses an XML file and displays its contents and structure. We'll also assume that ASP.NET and IIS are running in their default configurations. Okay, let's get started. I've already opened the XML trace solution inside of Visual Studio, and now I'm going to build it. So we'll go to build, build website. Okay, now when you compile an ASP.NET application, Visual Studio organizes the application code into several temporary dynamic link libraries whose locations and names change from one compilation to another. Now since the names get changed, you'd have to include new modules in your AQTime project every time you compile your application. And that can be a pain because those locations get changed, there's really no way to track them. So to avoid these problems, you can publish your ASP.NET website uh, before profiling it and specify a permanent folder for DLLs generated for that application. So let's do that. I'm going to go up to Build, Publish Website. And here I can specify a location where all the DLLs will be generated. So here I'm going to put these in a directory called c colon backslash my app. And then we'll press OK. Now the next thing we need to do is create an IIS application corresponding to our sample application. So to do this, I'm just going to bring up my control panel icon here and I'm going to go into IIS. And I'm going to expand down to my default website here and I'm going to add a new virtual directory uh, for my application. So I'm going to put in a new virtual directory here. I'm going to call this my app. And then the physical path will be c colon backslash my app. There we go. And then we'll click OK. Now, depending on the version of Windows you're running, your process may be slightly different. I'll refer to your Windows documentation to know for sure. Okay, so now we can create a new project in AQTime. I'm just going to click on the Create New Project link. And then what I'm going to do is add some modules to that project. So I'm going to click the, all right, click, say, Add Module here in the section. And then I'm going to browse out to the My App directory where we published our website to. So I'm just going to put in C colon backslash My App into the bin directory. And then I'll add these three files to our project. Now I'm going to choose the ASP.NET profiling mode from AQTimes toolbar, which is right here. And now we'll specify some run settings just by going up to Run Parameters. And what I'm going to plug in here is the address of the, the local address of the website uh, for our application. So in our case, it is, we'll click OK. And now we're ready to start profiling. And now I'm going to click the Run button. I'm going to click the Run button in this dialog that pops up right here. And now AQTime is asking our permission to restart the IIS admin service. So I'm going to say yes to this. And now AQTime is going to restart IIS and then launch our website in our default browser. In my case, it's Internet Explorer. Okay, so our website has been loaded up. And the application that we just uh, built is going to parse this XML file. So you can see in the background here all the events that AQTime has been tracking as that page loads. So now what we want to do is get some results from our profiling. And during the profiling of ordinary applications, AQTime automatically generates results when a tested application is closed. However, in the default configuration, IIS works as a service, and it won't stop even if I close the browser, and that means that AQTime won't generate any results. So, to obtain those results, what we need to do is click this Get Results button here in the AQTime UI. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And now AQTime is going to go and get results based on all the actions that have been performed so far. And then once we're finished profiling, we can click the Terminate button right here, and that will stop the profiling of our application. Okay, so let's take a look at the results here. 
In the summary panel that you see right here, we can see the brief results of the profiler run. And then here on the report panel, we get detailed information about every object, routine, and class, and so on. Along with the report and summary panels, AQTime includes some other panels that display handy information about the application as it was being tested. And those are down here, and these are the editor, call graph, call tree, details, and disassembler. Using these panels, you can view the source code of any function selected in the report panel. Uh, you can uh, view the binary code, the hierarchy of function calls, and so on. Besides that, while you're profiling, AQTime traces all events that occur in the ASP.NET process and in the profiled application and displays those events here in the Event View panel. This concludes our demonstration on how to profile ASP.NET applications with AQTime. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our sales managers or our support team at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy profiling your applications with AQTime.